if we are convinced that real spiritual practices work on your own mind. And for that there are many techniques, one or two I will tell you, just we will try to practice that. Try to think on any topic, but don't use any word. You cannot think. No problem. We keep on talking to ourselves so much. Do the same experiment, different way. Same experiment. Next one minute, do not talk to yourself. No meditation, no yoga, no nothing. Now see the net result. When I told you, don't talk to yourself. Did I say, don't talk among yourself? I didn't say that. When you don't talk to yourself, you don't want to talk to others. But when we are constantly chattering, like a poultry farm inside, goes on and on. And then we are fed up with ourselves. Then we want to go and disturb others. Hey, what are you doing? I am getting bored here. Yeah. Let us talk something. You imagine a person who gets bored of himself. What a solid bore he must be. Give it a try. In a day, except while driving, when we are sitting, start only for a few moments. Start with one minute, two minutes, just this much. When you are sitting or sit standing or walking, give it a try. Don't talk to yourself. Now to further strengthen this, add one more thing. First, don't talk to yourself. Second, listen to silence. Together. You are hearing your heart beats. Remain indifferent to them. Now let us analyze this experience. Talking to ourselves is creating words. Listening to silence is avoiding the words. Now words are heard by the ears, hearing ability. Silence is not heard by the ears. 
ears cannot hear silence ears can hear only words but are we not hearing silence so what is hearing silence when words do not disturb us so two things simultaneously neither we create the words by talking to ourselves nor we get influenced by the words coming from outside the net result is we do not go out of our own being we are where we are we are what we are we don't become anybody this being without becoming is the truth now in this practice what happens is this talking is action i am talking to is action karmendra listening is knowledge so when i don't talk no action i don't hear anything no knowledge so action and knowledge when they merge it is pure consciousness like a gram black gram you soak it overnight or put it in the soil and after some time it becomes swollen and a sprout comes out those two cotyledons they get separated from the one seed in the same manner from the one consciousness one consciousness the two things one is kriya shakti the poten- potentiality of action and the potentiality of knowledge they get bifurcated and when these two are merged together by this experiment which i told you they again come back to themselves as a result we don't become extraordinary many of us have got this notion spiritual life means becoming extraordinary you know drop every extra only ordinary see north east west south these are uh, specific directions space is non specific so the non specific space is called as north east west south see waters are non specific but uh, indian ocean uh, arabian ocean the atlantic ocean specific see space is one common but uh britain space indian space i always you get fun out of it this is india and above this there is indian space so no aeroplane of any other country should fly over my space i will shoot it down and uh, earth is moving so is the space also moving along with that space is one non specific <laughs> air is one non specific fire is one non specific waters are one non specific earth is one non specific in the same manner all our faculties are same 
everybody's eyes see everybody's ears hear same thing no difference then also the mind is same they are not different minds all of us have got the same experiences anger greed lust frustration hatred jealousy everywhere the same and ultimately we are the life is the same whether it is the hunger of a rich man or hunger of a street dog both of them get the same satisfaction after eating food life principle is same and therefore that which is expressing as life is but one absolute but this one is differentiated into many because of certain criteria like a man is differentiated as the son husband and the father because of the criteria of his father wife and the son in the same manner when we discard these limitations of conditionings and come to live as unconditioned being we have learnt everything in spirituality see my friends thereafter wherever you go you are at home see 